Hello and welcome to our recent flip house. This house is a totally 1980s style house with these big bulky stairs and the tall pitches in the roof. Um, however, it makes these houses very, very unique and we love this one, especially because of all the natural light. And it's always one of my favorite things in houses is just all the windows and the way the light just floods into it. And we like to really embrace that and really call attention to all of that natural light to make these homes super, super bright. So everything is just very clean in here. We did um, new paint, new floors, new baseboards, um, new lighting, new LED can lights everywhere, just to really make this place bright and light and open and something that a family can come in and really make their own. So we are just thrilled with how this all came together. Um, and we don't even have that many lights on here and there's just so much flooding in and we just really love how that all came out. So this is the living room. And then over here in the corner, there was this built in bar area. So you could actually stand like right here and there would be a bar in front of you and there were saloon doors. And so we wanted to keep the bar. We thought that was a really neat element um, to this space, but we didn't want the bulkiness that was here um, when we first bought the home. And so we took all of that out. There was this like fur down here, um, making the ceiling really low. And so we removed that as well and added a can light. And now we have this gorgeous bar area with a sink lots of great storage, beautiful open shelving, um, and the prettiest backsplash I think I've ever seen. And so we really just love how this came out. It's a neat um, element in the space and um, a really great place for foods and drinks when you're hosting guests. So just off the bar and living room area to the right is our primary retreat. Um, we love this space. It is so peaceful and tranquil. The ceilings are very tall. There's lots of natural light and even a door that goes to the outside patio that we had put in. So this wonderful outdoor space as well coming into this beautiful room. So new floors, new baseboards, new paint, um, just to really freshen everything up in here. We also have two closets, which is great for storage and great for having your own space and into this amazing bathroom. Um, I am in love with how this came out. So this bathroom um, was covered in wallpaper and just everything was very dated. And so we removed all of it and installed this new custom vanity and um, quartz countertops, new faucets, new mirrors, new lights, all of the things to really make this a functional space and have lots of great storage here in the bathroom. And speaking of storage, this door over here actually was a stand-up walk-in shower. It was a very sad, small, dark walk-in shower. We removed that and made it this um, beautiful linen closet. So again, just tons and tons of storage. So over here is actually where the tub was and we removed the tub raised to the ceiling is so that we have this gorgeous stand-up walk-in shower and what i love is the natural light coming into that shower space so it just really makes it fresh and bright big contrast to where the shower was in this bathroom and so it just makes everything very open and beautiful um, i just love how this turned out like we have the custom niche and the beautiful um, marble look porcelain tile it's just a really sweet tranquil beautiful bathroom So up these beautiful stairs, we've got a landing at the top. Actually, when we first walked this house, we saw these stairs and we were like, what are we gonna do with these stairs? But we've totally embraced them. They're a really unique piece of the house. And um, we just freshened them up with new carpet and painting the banisters. That is just a really neat place. We staged it with a desk, which we love. We think it's really cool that you can overlook uh, the living room, but it could be used in so many different ways. It just keeps everything super open. And so all the spaces really float and well together. So up here at the top of the stairs is this really wonderful landing. Um, it's large enough for a desk. It could be a little play spot. It's just really neat because it looks over to the living room and it has the natural light coming in, just further brightening the entire space. There's a um, built-in bookshelf. And actually right here at the top of the stairs, there was a built-in desk there, but we removed it because we thought it was really awkward that you would like push back from the desk and maybe fall down the stairs or something. So we had that removed. We thought that that space could be used, better used some other way. But then of course staged the desk here because this is just such a perfect spot to work with the light and being able to see everything. We really love um, how this all came out. And just around the corner from the upstairs landing are three bedrooms and a full bathroom. And in this bathroom, we totally gutted the vanity because we really wanted more space. So we added 
two sinks. So now we have a double vanity up here with custom drawers and then this custom um, linen closet, which is really great. And then we accented it with the black and gold and um, did a really neat vanity lights with the Edison bulbs in it to just kind of bring in that vintage feel from the house. You can kind of tell that this house was a older home and I love that and I just like to bring that into the design that we choose. And then of course in the shower, we did a green glass tile in the shower surround. Um, so it's a really nice fresh shower. There's a window in there as well. So still again, lots of natural light and just a really great space with plenty of room and plenty of storage for the families to get ready for the day. All right, so going back downstairs, just past the entryway is the dining room. Again, tons and tons of natural light. All these big windows just make this place absolutely amazing. So this dining room is just really fresh and bright. Again, new floors, new paint, new lights, and just a really wonderful place to gather. Could also be used as an office, depending on the needs of the family. And we just really are so thrilled with how bright this is and what a warm and welcoming room it turned out to be. This kitchen is my favorite part of the whole home. We actually gutted this entire kitchen. There was the hanging down lights and the old dated cabinets, but the layout stayed pretty much the same. So we had this whole wall of cabinets here, but there actually was a stackable oven microwave combo, but we ended up doing a slide in with the microwave over it so that we could have gas, which is really important. And then here in the island, there was an island here, but it was a lot wider. And so it made this walkway very narrow and did not allow for seating right here under the island. So we adjusted that so that the island was a little bit more narrow, but still had a plenty of room for you to sit at, which is wonderful. It's my favorite thing to have an eat-in kitchen. And then um, new cabinets, soft closed drawers, a deep single basin sink, new faucet, new cabinet poles, new appliances, all the things. And then back here in the corner, there actually was floor to ceiling cabinets. And so when we rebuilt that, we put the lowers back in and then did these beautiful floating shelves with the most amazing backsplash all the way up to the ceiling. I just love how fresh and bright this kitchen is, but then it's got those elements of the green in a really subtle but beautiful way. It's a really perfect gathering space. It's hard sometimes to imagine that a kitchen that's kind of blocked off from the rest of the house would be so open and such a great place um, for people to hang. But really with all the windows, it feels so huge and the LED lights making it so bright in here. And then this layout with the eat-in here and the eat-in over there really just gives lots of wonderful gathering space for the home.